sticking your finger in the dog's ass. Please don't do that. Uh, oh, I, I, with every <laughs> with every fucking method, something had to start somewhere. This can't Surely be real. No, it's I a mean, fake baby, it's isn't a cheap it? Cheap babysitter, by all means. But. <laughs> right, so. On one sense, I really hope this isn't real, and it is really, really good editing. Although, if it it, it, it looks right superb I'm editing, I'm, I'm right? actually looking at a dog and it's jacked. You're yeah. you're the video editor, right? Does this look? This looks I real to me. It looks, looks real. real these days. It looks real, but then I'm not sure on the baby. But, but I'm looking at it from about If it is real, if it is real, then what concerns me is the dog would have been forced to do this. A dog wouldn't naturally do this. This isn't a natural dog behaviour. Well, no, the, oh, they're, they're not baby snatchers. That's a and if they were to. <laughs> <laughs> If they were to pick up a baby, they would do it with their mouth. <laughs> Not with their front arm. No, see, I'll be honest, whenever I've seen a dog holding on like that, they're humping. Well, it's, it's either gonna, it's never a good thing when no. a dog is gripping you like that. Yeah. It's either going to take a chunk out of you, yeah, or it's about to have fucking sexy time with you. Mm. Now, to get a dog to do this, Without any of that, I feel like the dog's been forced in this position, which would have been uh, a lot of stress added to it. And let's be honest, you never want your dog and a baby that fucking close together when you're actually forcing the dog to do something that fucking unnatural. It only takes a little nip and that's changed that child's life. If you uh, want to know what to do with a baby and a dog, get the third pink book. Yes, where is pre it? Pre-order. To your left. To oh, the left. Up here. That left. There it is, the red one. You're you can pre-order right now on the website it's it will save your child and your dog a lot of heartache and misery and it will also teach you how to raise a dog and child safely you guys ask for it I wrote a fucking book on it I thought you was going to say it will teach you how to get your dog to hold a baby to be honest <laughs> it does not cover that oh, oh, oh we need, sorry we need to rewrite that <laughs> What the hell's happening there? Are they drawing pins? Uh, I mean, oh. That's one way to get the dog to stop gnawing. Hang on. It. Just, just stab it in its face. Uh, right, right, right. Let's. That dog's already got fucking scars on its head. I can see him. Look, let's. Hold yeah. on. Look. <gasps> above his right eye, he's got a yeah. fucking scar on his head. A couple of them. Right. This oh. is not a good way of getting your dog to stop chewing your fucking Please table legs. Not very it's not right. One, it can take his fucking eye out. Right, two, it can stay. Just why? It tastes tingly. <laughs> I mean, the amount of time it took you to fucking make that, it would have been easier to put a lead on the dog and just fucking lead it away. Yeah. You could have, yeah. <laughs> the, time, the time you've done it, you could have trained it not to do that. I mean, it would have made a viral TikTok video, which these days it's all about fucking stressing your dog no, out for the sake of the fucking likes, views. But yeah, I feel like in the time it took for somebody to do that fucking stupid death contraption for the dog, yeah. they could have just put a fucking lead on the dog and fucking what, what? led it away. <laughs> what happens when they walk past it and accidentally stop? their toe on it well somebody <laughs> <laughs> if you sit down and still go like this you're like, <laughs> somebody comes around and yells calm a bitch yeah. 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 one like one prayer guys remember that All right. break up a dog fight oh. Oh, okay this could be a good one put a finger in his bum we'll come back to that put your hand under their collar oh it's wrong straight away okay it's to cut off their supply yep yeah Oh, definitely. If the dog is not wearing a collar, use a lead. This belt person's in my videos. Similar and do the same, but remember never pull backwards. Always. Definitely see my videos. Stop. So I was on board with this. Yeah. Right. Uh, because if the dog doesn't have a collar on, then I always advise people to get a lead and fashion some sort of noose out of it by threading the clip through the fucking handle. Uh, that's why I always carry a spare lead in my pocket if I'm gonna go places where there's a fleet dogs. Uh, what she said here, don't pull back, pull up. Uh, you don't wanna be pulling up with the force that she's doing uh, without actually something coming down on the dog because what you gotta remember, you're doing this because the dog's got hold of something if the dog's got hold of another dog and you're pulling up, it doesn't matter whether you're pulling back or pulling up, the dog is going to, it's likely to take a chunk out of that dog that it's got hold of. So you need to pull up, but apply just enough force that it's cutting off the circulation. In this situation, I would like to almost stand over the dog and do it. So that way, if I am pulling up, I'm still kind of pushing down on the dog a little bit, so it's not fucking ripping up the dog. 
Yeah, he's just going to go up on his hind legs and. Yeah, all he's going to do is fucking take yeah. a mouthful yeah, of dog yeah, up yeah, with yeah, it. And then it it will let go, but what you got to understand is you want it to cause the least amount of damage possible. So lifting it up off the floor yeah. and hanging it, it will let go, but it's going to take the dog with it before it lets go. Basically, choke it out, clean it. You know, it's clean. It just yeah, you you you, goes you, you to sleep for a few seconds and then sort of goes. Yeah, I to be fair, it doesn't go to sleep. No, no, no. It's going to it will let go before it passes out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess it's like MMA. Yeah, people, people, people will tap before yeah, they pass yeah. out. The, the reality is, when the dog can't breathe, he'll let go. Yeah, because the dog's natural fucking survival instinct will kick in, yeah. and it'll have to fucking come up decide. for it. Yeah, decide carry on biting or survive. <laughs> yeah, but the quickest, most effective way to stop a dog fight is to choke it out. Is there any more to this video? If you can't do Mount the dog. <laughs> this is when she puts finger in bum. I know it. <laughs> Lift only their back legs off the floor whilst pressing down on their back with your other hand. No, stop. Uh... <laughs> This might work with a fucking petty squabble at dawn. If you've got a dog that is hell-bent on fucking shit up, mm. it, it's, it's not going to end well. Yeah, Lifting a dog up by its back legs is not likely to let go of another dog. And then people will ask about the wheelbarrow technique. The wheelbarrow technique involves you lifting the dog's back legs up, somebody else lifting the other dog's back legs up, and then going around in a circle. Problem with the wheelbarrow technique is it can be effective, if both of you know what you're doing, but if your dog has already run over to another dog and it's got itself into a dog fight, chances are that person has no idea what they're gonna do. They're gonna fucking kick, scream, and do everything that they shouldn't do. Uh, so I wouldn't do that. I think that the dog's gonna have hold of the dog a lot longer than necessary if you lift it up by its back legs. It's still gonna be able to thrash around with the dog that it's got hold of yeah. or the person that it's got hold of. Uh, sticking your finger in the dog's ass, please don't do that. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I, with every <laughs> with every fucking method, something had to start somewhere, right? All, so that's the one we always hear about. It is, but you got to think, right? So when somebody discovered how to teach a dog to sit by, a, oh look, I can get you to sit if I just hold a treat up and your bum goes down. Who decided that in the midst of a dog fight? <laughs> That right. So I am going to stick. Husbands and wives clearly do it. <laughs> yeah, because I, I mean, I just, oh, he's angry. I oh, know. He's oh. <laughs> I just, I mean, I, I'm not going to name it, but I have seen a trainer video go viral where they did literally the dog fight broke out and he's literally got his finger stuck in the dog's fucking ass, and the dog's not letting go. Uh, is the dog is oh, all it's going to do is excite. Turns <laughs> <laughs> what the dog's into. But no, and like I said, throwing water over the dog, hitting the dog, screaming, any of this shit. Uh, if you're hitting a dog when it's in the middle of a fight, it's going to associate it's coming from whatever it's got hold of at that moment in time. Uh, screaming is only going to add fuel to the fire throwing a blanket over the dog all you're going to do is cover up a dog you still got hold of it like I said when we're talking about serious dog fights as in if you don't stop it quickly somebody's going to get hurt maimed or killed uh, choking out is the quickest most effective way this video ain't bad oh, it's like my penis when it's cold <laughs> oh shit, it's come to life, it's warm again! Sometimes. <laughs> what is it? Cujo? Uh, Cujo, I mean, the video went fast, but I think Cujo was a papillon. I could be wrong, don't quote me. It could just be a fucking crossbreed. Uh, the video is far away. I am trying to make this up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a Rottweiler. Well, it's, it's probably a cane corso. Oh, <laughs> Why not just fucking muzzle the dog? Yeah, yeah, no, holding it in a blanket that wasn't secure it wasn't much better. Uh, idea. Guys, <laughs> I've never, like, I don't like to mention it or bring it up a lot, but I have wrote a couple of books. Oh, have you? I haven't yeah. heard a single uh, thing uh, about And this. in that, in that yellow, in that yellow book, we have a whole chapter on vets and how to get your dog comfortable with the vets. None of which include wrapping your dog up in a fucking blanket and hoping that little fucker doesn't squirm out of it. <laughs> because as you just found out, fuck around and find out. Yeah. Uh, Cujo clearly wasn't fucking happy. I swear Cujo is um, a film of a dog. Yeah, St. So Bernard. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a dog that gets rabies and basically and goes on to gnarly. kill everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was. Yeah. Stephen King book. Well, yeah. Fun oh, fact. cool. And that was a fun yeah, fact, I think, yeah? Yeah, I think it came out in the 80s. Well, you didn't leave a fun fact. How was I meant to know? Boring fact. Uh, <laughs> mate, if there is a fun <laughs> fact to be fucking had, you got a lead with... Oh, 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 oh. Well, you, you, you're okay. Have you burnt yourself? No, I came. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking drawing pins I put on the legs. <laughs>
<laughs> when you have a great puppy. Oh, bless him. Oh. He doesn't want his injection. Is that for COVID-24? Shit. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. That's his fifth one this week for COVID. Oh. oh. That was, that, 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 that was cute and disturbing at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so conflicted. <laughs> what, what is that? That's a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is a, that's a shaved ball sack. It's <laughs> a beach towel. Wait, is it a baby Sharpay or something? Uh, mate, I'm super impressed with you right now. Why? Because that is a Sharpay. Yeah. It wasn't that, a that, that, that was yeah. a Sharpay. Yeah. I know some dogs. I know. Not, not many. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, a lot of people get Sharpays because they're very cute as puppies, very wrinkly and things like ooh, that. Oh, fun fact. Yes! Fun fact. They were a Japanese fighting dog. No, Chinese. Oh! <laughs> you was Asia. I was close. I mean, I mean you landed in the continent. No, I don't. <laughs> then I don't. <laughs> I'm the cameraman. You're the dog trainer. <laughs> They have been exploited for dog fighting. Uh, they were used to protect palaces and things like that as well. Uh, they got very strong protective instincts. They're generally very good with children and immediate family. They can be very combative, particularly to the same sex dogs, uh, and they can be very quick to react when they sense danger. As cute as they are, this is a breed that I'd recommend for a more experienced dog handler than somebody stepping into the dog world for the first time wanting a dog. Uh, because you're going to make mistakes when you get a dog for the yeah. first time. Is, yeah. there, is there a reason why they've got so much excess skin? Or are they just really large at one point in their life and they've lost a lot uh, of life? It could be to protect them from fucking in fights with other animals and things like that. Uh it could just be the breeding. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I haven't fully checked the history all the way back to when Sharpays were born. Uh, I know enough that it gets me by when they're working <laughs> with Sharpays. I know that you need to tread carefully if you've got one that doesn't like people. I know that they're going to be very suspicious. So if I go straight over and just go, hello, mate, what's up? He's going to want to fucking probably tell me he's not happy with that. I, I grew up, my friend had a Sharpay and I remember the dog told you when he wanted stroking and he told you when he didn't want stroking. What, by fucking you up? No, no, no. He, he used to grumble, go, stroke me. And then grumble, and he basically was like, I'm done now. And he'd walk yeah. away. They're, 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 they're cool dogs. I just, I wouldn't recommend them for a novice dog handler. Is that it? Is that it? We come to the end of the line. We are at the end. We are at the end. Amazing. Well Until done. Next... We've done three of these guys. Well, we have. Until next week. Until next week. Uh, as always, like I said, we are growing a series. It's coming out once a week, and we rely on you guys to give it a thumbs up and to share it to help this grow. As I said, that costs you absolutely nothing. We post free content every single day to help you guys with your dog. This is a bit of fun because I'm trying to keep up with the amount of videos you guys send me that you want my opinion on. So by doing it in a YouTube series, it allows me to react to a lot more than just one at a time. Uh, but we're doing this for you guys that send me this content and stuff like that. So please do keep sending in that content, but do something free for us and just slap a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And we'll see you on the next one. See, see you then. later, guys.